and good afternoon. Welcome to number 422. Um, this is, the topic today is, oh yes, <laughs> you're better off dating an equal if you want more. I'll explain that in a second, but let me start by introducing myself and also why the, what these talks are about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which drives my work. And that's why I do these talks every day called Messages to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Make sense? And today's is number 422. That's, yeah, 400, just double-checking the numbers. So over a year's worth so far. And today's topic is you're better off dating an equal if you want more. And you may be going, what do you mean by that? So I'll explain. And I know there's going to be some people who don't like what I'm going to say because I've had discussions with these people recently. So <laughs> I'm bringing it to the table. So first of all, let me start with more so you know what I'm going aiming towards and I can give you the fill in the blanks. So first of all, um, if you want more than just something casual, if you want more than just a few dates, if you want a relationship that's going to grow and expand you as well as your partner, you're better off dating an equal. And that's really what I want to speak about, and I speak on the front end about what that is that an equal would correspond to, so you'll attract somebody who fits. And part of what's on my mind is last night I was at this, um, a friend of mine hosts a monthly gathering at her place, a dinner, potluck conversation, and around the whole table, there were 20, about 20 of us, I guess, I would say that the majority of the people in the group are people who are in this entrepreneurial, coaching, speaking, leading type business. And some of them are not, but most of them are, which includes speakers and coaches and other types of people who want to change the world. I'll put it that way. So amongst the circle of people who are there, a lot of us are on the same page, which I call being, what I would say is equal. Not necessarily equal as in equal education or equal personal growth. It's more about equal in terms of what we're focusing on so we can work together. now. Also at this gathering last night, there were a couple who are married, who are, well, she's working on becoming a coach and he's a, well, he works in some sort of management type work, different. But their energy seems to be very aligned, but mainly because she was in the same arena as he was and she's growing beyond that too. And the idea of being equals, it plays big for me because I see people who marry people who don't fit and the relationship gets strained. And it's a bit unfortunate to watch, but it's almost kind of, I could have said to them at the beginning, um, just so you know, the odds of that working aren't very high. And that's the reality. That when you are with somebody and you want to be equal with them, I don't, and, I, and I mean this in the sense of, um, Tico, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Um, hi to you too. By the way, if you're, what, if you're listening to this on iTunes or watching this on YouTube, you won't know that I was actually doing this first on, Perisco on uh, Facebook Live. What was it Periscope? That's weird. So when I do it on Facebook Live, there are interactive comments and questions which I will respond to if people interact with my broadcast. If you're watching this on YouTube or listening to iTunes, you won't see those comments. So you're not going crazy. I'm just explaining what happened. <laughs> so now you know. So, find someone equal. I've had some challenging conversations recently with some people I know because they are judging my selection choices, so I'm thinking for myself here, um, because you should, like, should be able to be with anybody. A and don't close the door on anybody because somebody puts a good shop who will blow you away but isn't anything like what you expected. Which sounds good in theory. It does sound good in theory. However, <laughs> and I said this to a couple of conversations, I'm very clear about what I'm looking for in partnership and it's absolutely about being equal in the sense that we're both bringing an equal amount of skill mastery, um, passion to the, to the relationship and to our work in the world. The reason why I look at equality as an important thing is not, and, there's, and this is not in contrast to or because of equal rights, which is something I very much subscribe to as well, but that's a different conversation to say. What I mean about equality in a relationship is that each partner is equally responsible for their participation in the relationship. They're equally responsible for their level of participation in their own growth and work they do to bring that relationship. For example, 
if you're someone who has done work where you understand about being personal responsible, personal responsibility, about um, ownership of your own feelings, and about being accountable for your own um, stuff, I'll be polite, it's, it makes sense to have a partner as the same thing. If you're in a relationship with somebody where you and your partner are different, for example, you're somebody who does all this personal growth work and you've really become very self-aware and you're very loving, very kind, take care of yourself and also on your own stuff, your own issues, your own feelings, and your partner just judges and blames you all the time, that's not a very light, not a very equal relationship and it's certainly not healthy. So what I'm really speaking to is the less material, more internal equality because there are definitely relationships that work really well where one partner makes lots of money and the other person doesn't because the love is there but also the equality is there. And relationships work really well when both partners equally earn well too. There's a whole other conversation in there I'm not going to bring up now. I realize there's a topic I haven't talked about yet about equal, equal income stuff. That's on that's on that's going to back burner, not for today, because <laughs> it's tempting. The challenge in this conversation, if you're looking for someone of equal bearing, equal presentation, equal, and again I'm looking for the right word for it, ownership of their journey in their life. It's hard to find somebody like that if you go on Tinder or Match or any other dating app, smartphone, swipe app type place to meet somebody because most people don't put in their profile those sort of qualities. And there are some sites out there that are more consciousness, spirituality centric, but even those don't necessarily provide you what you want. So I'm watching where this is going, so hang on a second. So for yourself, it, Okay. Okay, that was there was a piece I wanted to get out and it wasn't coming through. Now it's clear. Okay, let me try this again. <laughs> so again, if you don't care about having a relationship which you might have someone to play and have fun with, then go for it. It doesn't make a difference on this level. But if you're looking for a relationship that's gonna be deep, rich, fulfilling, and powerful, then this equality piece I'm talking about is fundamental. And so part of this is the homework you need to do, which is really get clear about what it is that you believe yourself to be. I will say this. Ownership of your gifts, your talents, and your power are vital for you to own your space in the world, period. And then on top of that, to be in a healthy relationship. Because if you have to give that up for your relationship, you're not in the right place. That's a key one, by the way, too. What I'm, what I was stopping from reflecting on is, is in conversation last night, I don't remember if it was at the, the dinner party or if it was the night before, this topic came up about how for me personally, I am really getting clear that what I've done so far in my life, what I've um, presented myself as, what I've studied, learned, I've sometimes put on the back burner and hidden it away. And so even though I think on my website and in my book I have bios that describe what I'm about. In conversation, it's not something that comes up very easily. If oftentimes I'll, I'll show chagrin almost and not put it out. So I'm speaking for myself in this case that really what I'm getting clear about is what I've done in, in my journey, having been on the personal growth journey for 30 plus years and all the different qualifications I've had over the years, those mean something to me and mean a lot to my clients too. So anybody I'm going to meet and socialize with and connect with who might be someone I want to dance with. In the past, I've sometimes downplayed those things to somehow feel that I shouldn't present those as part of my qualifications. So I'm speaking to myself right now, and you can listen in, that for me personally, I, I'm, gotta, I'm, I'm choosing to, not got to, I'm choosing to raise my standards and raise my choices to the level of what I've been playing, sorry, to the level of which I'm qualified to be at. That's the thing I'm going to say. Because I'm noticing, as I said this about, about equality, I have been playing less than in many of my interactions, in friendships, in, in business connections, and even with clients who I played less than I'm capable of. And that, for me, is something I'm done with. So, selfishly speaking, I'm changing this for me. I'm saying yes to who I've been all along and no to the part I've been playing down to. So, that was interesting. Okay. <laughs> it's been bugging me for about four days and I wonder what it was now it came clear so the things that I have been okay this is, this is, a, this is like a self exposure thing the things I've been 
presented with, conversations I've been having, and places I'm coming from, I really have been watching my own journey. And looking back, I'm noticing where I've been using everything I've learned to put it in a box somewhere else and then pretend to be in, like I've known nothing. So I'll be at the feet of other people who are, who are teachers now. There's a piece I learned in my journey about when I'm studying with masters, studying people who are further up the, up the whatever that is than I am, that it's vital and it's actually important for me to let go of anything I've learned before to become a, a tabula rasa, a clean slate, to learn from those teachers, which is important. And when I'm around people who are my peers and sometimes who are not as far up that level, <coughs> ladder as I, I've been, it's not my job to play less than them. So my equal part in this conversation I'm putting here, so thanks for being witness to this, is really about me saying yes to the, the level of mastery that I have, that I am, that I've owned, that I've learned, that I've studied, that I've expressed, and not play less than that. There's a, there's a, there's a powerful piece that I'm realizing for myself now that it's time to stop playing small. And that's the, probably the biggest thing that I've been avoiding is to stop playing small. Well, the biggest piece I've been doing is playing small, so enough. So this piece that I'm helping you is helping me, so thank you for witnessing it. Um, I hope that you're getting some value from this I'm saying. I've been, saying I've been talking about my own journey and the fact I'm stepping into my truth and, and not playing small anymore. I hope you realize for yourself that in relationship choices you make as a, as a conscious, growing, and advanced, in quotes, person, you're choosing relationships that match where you are and where you're going rather than matching where you used to be, which is what I've done in the past. So my invitation to you, my recommendation and my encouragement to you is to really choose at a higher level than you've done because you're actually at that level without realizing it. And it's time, it's time that you recognize that, own that, honor that, and appreciate that that you are. I think that, that's probably the lesson I want to pass. So this, this is kind of the the crux of it, as it were, and this is the piece I want to deliver. At the beginning, it's kind of clumpy, but I want to make sure I got this piece in because I realize more and more, for many of us, we've been playing less than we truly are, that we truly deserve, and that we bring to the conversation. So, um, yes, Adriana, see, this, this is kind of inspired by what you said the other day. So, nice to see you here again, by the way. Um, so, yes, yeah, so choosing someone of equal, e choosing someone who's equal isn't finding someone who's the same, but it's finding someone who is at the level of growth, mastery, development, skill in life that you are as well, which requires, this is the piece that I'm coming back to, that we ourselves own, recognize, honor, and appreciate the level of mastery of growth of development that we've done and not play down to something we're not, which is what I've been doing. So I'm, I'm definitely saying time to change. So. If you're with me, I appreciate it because I'm realizing that I've <laughs> just had to shift in my own awareness from what's from some conversations. I hope it's been a value to you. This this is simple thing in so many ways, but it's a game changer for so many people as well. To recognize that we are deserving of much better than we settled for in past relationships because for some reason we didn't value what we've already done, who we've become, what we've studied, and the levels of growth we've had in our lives. And it doesn't mean personal growth. It could be. It could be the, the society, the, it could be the societal change you've made, or it could be the, the travels you've had. It could be the, um, it, could, it could be academic studies, but it's all these different things that make us more worldly. It's, it, like another one of my examples, and you may have experienced this too, is that having been being born and raised in a different country, and lived in other countries before I came to America, I'm, I have a different worldview to a lot of people who were born and raised in, L, in LA, just to be transparent. Most people who, who were born and raised in this town don't have much of a view beyond the state line. Um, now, some have traveled, which is great, but the, for those who haven't, those who are not really, you know, there are people I know who literally, you know, I've got friends back in England like this, who basically married and settled down within five miles of where they were born. And that's the way they've lived, lived. this is back in England. And it's people like they do the same thing. So that connection for relationship is having somebody who is the same worldview that you have as well. It's really challenging when your view of the world, of life, of consciousness or whatever that is, is diametrically opposed or different from the part that you're dating. That's why if you want to go deep, you want to have an amazing relationship, if you want more in a relationship, it's worthwhile finding a match, an equal, somebody who can dance with you at the level you're already at. 
And I think that's that's really what I want to say. I think that's it. <laughs> I'm realizing this is a very condensed talk, so I just dropped some useful pieces in here along the way, although I was having some clunky way getting into it. So thanks for being with me during this this, this rather well, it's a Saturday, so rather casual broadcast. <laughs> I hope it's going to be deeper than that, but I think this, this makes the point. So, yeah, thank you. Thanks for the feedback. Some nice insights. That was what, at least I'm getting feedback, so thank you for that. I appreciate it because I wasn't sure if it was landing or not. Um, so, thanks for watching my broadcast. And by the way, again, if you're watching on YouTube or listening on iTunes, this originally was on Facebook Live. So, to see that, you can go to my, um, go to my Facebook business page, that's where they really accumulate, and watch it there. Um, also my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. Or if you want to listen to my broadcasts, watch your driving when you can't watch, or another place where you don't have a chance to look at your phone, um, you can watch, you listen to them on iTunes. If you search for um, Messages from the Masculine as the, as the podcast, that's the one we're looking for. So those are slowly getting loaded up from here, because I'm actually loading my Facebook Lives from here to iTunes, and they're from, sorry, Facebook Lives to YouTube, and they're to iTunes. So... <laughs> You're now seeing the technical side of my work. But if you haven't seen my other broadcast, this is number 422 in an ongoing series of daily talks called Message to the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And if you want my help in this area, you can reach out for me and support. If you haven't seen my other broadcast, you can watch them on my business page, as I mentioned, which is barryselby.org on Facebook, or as I said on YouTube, or listen to iTunes. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below and answer when I sign off. If you know that we should watch this, please share it with them. And if you are stuck and you're looking for love in all the wrong places, I invite you to check out my work and you can actually get a discovery session with me as a gift. Go to my website, which is barrysoby.com and click on Let's Chat, which is the left-hand side of the uh, navigation bar. And I think that is it. I'm in the middle of my own process right now, so I'll, I'm gonna excuse myself and let you go on with your evening. Um, thanks for watching, thanks for being with me. I will see you again tomorrow with something new and different. And uh, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, and if you just join me in the middle of the broadcast, watch from the beginning, because it did make sense completely. In the middle of my lost track of it. So thanks for watching, thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.